This is the Confidence Course at the Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island, South Carolina. Uh, what the hell, what did you just say? I guess that's what we say, right? Oh, Show your mouth! Oh, Recruits attack the course during week two of training Get out. and must negotiate 15 obstacles, which test them both physically and mentally requiring a combination of focus, coordination, and of course, confidence. You stay, I go. No, I go, you stay. I go, you stay. If they don't have confidence, they can't really make any sound decisions. If they're not confident in anything that they're doing or they're thinking, they might have a lot of missteps and slip ups and it would affect things on the battlefront. On day 12 of boot camp, recruits gather before dawn in a compound known as Leatherneck Square, where drill instructors go over proper and safe execution of each obstacle. You're going right below the top log, you understand? Aye, sir. There's no set order of obstacles on the course. Groups of recruits start on different obstacles and work until all of them have been attempted, usually taking a few hours. Many of the obstacles require pure strength, especially in the core and upper body, like on the difficult reverse climb. Each group is monitored by a drill instructor who has succeeded in each of the 15 challenges. Let's go, 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 go. Say something back. I said it! And it's up to the instructor to determine if a recruit is unable to safely complete the obstacle. Get on the first block! In which case, the recruit is ordered to move on. Get your arm pin up there. Do it chicken wing, chicken wing, chicken wing. Chicken wing. <laughs> no, I'm tired of watching you freaking fail. You failed this event. No, just grab your canteen and go. You failed this event. Man, this is one more try, sir. What did I just say? I sir! What did I just say? I sir! Go! I sir! Some obstacles offer a purely physical test. But others, like the stairway to heaven, force recruits to slow down and contemplate each move. The obstacle is 30 feet high, and recruits aren't given any safety ropes or harnesses. They go up and over, and then back down, using communication along the way to make sure they get down safely. I go, you say. You go up. I say you go. I go, I go, you stay. I say you go. You ready, step, step, go. A lot of them are scared they're timid. So in preparation for that, we build their confidence a little early on. I think it helps them to see us demo it, but it's different actually doing it. It's gonna become like second nature. It'll help them transition through boot camp. It'll build their confidence. So when the other things come along, they're like, hey, it might be hard, but I can still do it. One of the most challenging obstacles on the confidence course is appropriately known as Tough One, which provides another opportunity for recruits to descend from a height of 30 feet. That's if they can make it to the top. Recruits must engage their hamstrings to ascend a rope and then use substantial upper body strength to overcome a challenging climb onto the obstacle's upper level. Only then can they make their descent. You overcome this amazing obstacle and you're like, wow, you know, that was pretty tough, but hey, not too bad. Recruits aren't graded or scored on the confidence course like they are on the physical fitness test or PFT. It's simply an exercise in building confidence and strength. This is the time where a lot of them are going to find out where their shortfalls and whatnot are at. A lot of them don't know that they can actually maneuver the obstacle course. It's to build their confidence, do some things that they didn't think they could. Go sir! One of the signature obstacles on the confidence course is the slide for life. Recruits must slide all the way down a 90-foot long rope, stretched out diagonally. At its highest point, the rope is suspended 25 feet over a small pond. Sir, the rope. 
They start their descent in a prone position, but their journey is interrupted by a drill instructor who orders the recruit to roll over. And after a few moments, hey, two. Hi, sir. Job to complete that hey. Hi, sir. the recruits are ordered to drop their legs from the rope and swing freely in what's called a dead hang, holding on with just their hands. Now, put your legs up facing that way. After a few moments, the recruits must use their core strength to swing their legs back up onto the rope to continue their descent. But for some recruits, this part isn't always easy. Some attempt to use a pedaling motion to generate the momentum they need to get their legs back up to the rope. But it doesn't always work. Nick, your feet up. Eyes up. Drill instructors allow the recruits a few attempts to get their feet back up on the rope. But their patience is limited. And for recruits who fail to do it, there's only one alternative. Hey, one, hey, two, drop in the water now. I right, Drop in the water now. Okay. That one wears you down completely because it's upper body and core and lower body that kills you, especially if you're tall. You know, you feel all your weight just go straight down to your ankles when you're trying to switch positions and getting your foot back up there ain't that easy. Recruits that don't make it very far down the slide for life get to fall into a safety net, but they don't get to stay dry. Failing this obstacle means you get wet no matter what. If I fall from this obstacle and land in the water, I'm going to be wearing desert camis and everyone's going to know I fell in the water. This won't be the last chance recruits get to navigate the confidence course. They'll return around week nine to give it another try. The second time they come through here, they're going to come with a lot more confidence. They've been training, their bodies are more in shape, they're more in tune to um, actually execute the obstacles. From a mental aspect, they already got it, they just don't know they got it. But that second time around, it's like they're actually going to put it to use. It's like they have something to prove. <laughs> 